So there's been a huge rumor going around, and I'll link the image in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But apparently, it's been leaked, or it's been announced, that Tokyo Ghoul Season 2 is going to be 24 episodes, which at first, you probably are going through the roof like I was initially. Like, 24 motherfucking episodes, hell's fucking yeah, we're gonna have all this content. And I'm still like that, to be honest with you. I'm not completely, like you know, skeptical at this particular point. However, based on what I've heard, I'm a little bit on the fence about this simply because from what I'm understanding, it's going to be a parallel universe to the actual world that we've seen in Season 1 of Tokyo Ghoul. And from what I've heard, it's based on the initial draft of Tokyo Ghoul that the manga cut was going to go with. And if I'm correct, I remember reading the one shot of Tokyo Ghoul that basically, if I'm correct, that was the initial draft or the first draft that he ultimately had for the series. And it was a bit different. For starters, it started off with Kaneki actually already being a ghoul and his personality was a little bit different, his characterization. And even the relationship that he had with Toka was slightly different as well. It even had different characters like earlier on that didn't show up until later on in the manga so it's going to be a little bit different if it's based on that but ultimately it's kind of like don't get me wrong yeah season one of tokyo ghoul had its problems it wasn't perfect by far it you know skipped out on some things or whatever but that's the reason why everyone got into tokyo ghoul the reason why tokyo ghoul went from like 1 million to almost 7 million is because of that first season, regardless if you want to deny it or not, that season is what put it on the map, and that's what people are looking forward to, so the fact that it's coming back and it's not going to go that way, like with the season 2 continuing the story, it's making me a little bit skeptical as to what this is going to all turn out to be, like, it's called Root A, if I'm correct, because it has the square root symbol, and then it says A, I'm guessing that's a whole play on, you know, Root A, the first choice, the first route, or whatever that he was ultimately going with, and from what it seems like, it seems as though it was basically like, Sort of like Fate Stay Night, for example, like a visual novel where, okay, this is going to be an alternate route or whatever. And if that's the case, that's still all right. But ultimately, I think everyone, including myself, eventually does want to see the entirety of the manga that we all love. Because I personally love the manga, and I'm loving right now the new manga, Tokyo Ghoul Re as well, the continuation. We all want to see that eventually adapted. And if this is going to be an original story based on the original draft of Tokyo Ghoul then it probably isn't going to go that route, and we might not ever see the remainder of the manga, nor the following manga ever get animated. And that's kind of worrisome, in all honesty, I want to see, at some given point, you know, some of these parts of the manga that was amazing animated. So, while I'm like, hell's fucking yeah, I have a lot of faith in Sui Ishida because this was his original idea, and he's ultimately writing it, so, in that aspect, it's like, it's going to be a good thing. But at the same time, if we don't ever get to see some of the parts of the manga that we love get animated, then it's going to be a little bit disappointing at the same time. But for right now, it hasn't been 100% confirmed. I haven't seen it on any major sites like Anime News Network or Crunchyroll. But from what I'm gathering thus far, this is what it is. It's going to be 24 episodes. It's called Root A. And apparently, this is a parallel universe to the Tokyo Ghoul universe. So we might even tread over some of the content that we already experienced in the first season. Which, if that's the case, it's like... I'm wondering exactly how it's going to go. I'm just, like, right now, the biggest thing is skepticism. Like, is it going to be good? Is it going to cover any of the content from the manga? And ultimately, does this mean we'll never get to see the rest of the manga animated? Or what's going on? What is your take on this? Are you a little bit disappointed about this? Are you excited? And your overall thoughts of all this? But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm FNAF World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.